Hello, everybody. Uh, it is wonderful to welcome Prime Minister Ruta uh, and his delegation to the White House. Uh, part of the reason we want to make this meeting happen is because uh, we have uh, no stronger ally than uh, the Netherlands. Uh, they consistently punch above their weight uh, on a whole range of issues uh, related to global security. Uh, you know, Prime Minister Ruta has been a strong supporter of NATO. Uh, as was his predecessor, and we've been able to work together uh, on a whole host of issues. Uh, they've made an enormous contribution to Afghanistan. Uh, they made uh, a very important contribution to Libya uh, on anti-piracy, uh, on a whole host of issues. Uh, the Netherlands consistently uh, is supportive of uh, efforts for our joint security, and we're very grateful for that. Uh, in addition, Despite the fact that uh, the Netherlands doesn't have a huge population, uh, they are one of our most important trading partners. Uh, the economic relationship between uh, our two countries is deep. It is broad. Uh, we are one of the largest investors in the Netherlands. The Netherlands, in turn, is one of the largest investors in the United States. Uh, and so uh, given both of our interests in promoting uh, commerce, growth, and uh, jobs, it is very important that we coordinate uh, with the, the Netherlands. Uh, on that score, obviously, we're both concerned about uh, the situation in the Eurozone, uh, in which the Netherlands has uh, a, a very significant voice. Uh, and I'm going to be interested in hearing uh, from Mark uh, his views in terms of how this uh, issue gets resolved, because as I said yesterday uh, during my meeting with uh, President uh, uh, Rumpo, uh, Van Rompuy and uh, Barroso, uh, we have a very deep interest here in the United States in making sure that uh, that process is resolved so that we can continue to grow our economy and put people back to work here at home. Um, in addition, we're going to be talking about uh, a wide range of global issues, uh, from the Middle East to the situation uh, in Iran, where we both share uh, a deep commitment to making sure that Iran abides by its international obligations, including uh, in the nuclear area. Uh, on that score, I think it's important for me to just note uh, that all of us, I think, are deeply disturbed by the uh, crashing of uh, yeah. the English embassy, uh, the, the, the embassy of the United Kingdom in Iran. Uh, that kind of behavior is not acceptable, uh, and I strongly urge the Iranian government uh, to hold uh, those who are responsible uh, to task. They have a responsibility to protect diplomatic outposts. Uh, that is a basic international obligation that all countries need to observe. Uh, and uh, for uh, rioters essentially to be able to overrun the embassy and set it on fire uh, is an indication that uh, the Iranian government is not taking its uh, international obligations seriously. Uh, and so obviously we're deeply concerned about that situation uh, and uh, we expect to see some sort of definitive action uh, sometime very quickly. Uh, overall, though, uh, I'm pleased to say that uh, the relationship between our two countries is extremely strong. Uh, it's reflected not only in the relationship between our governments, but also the people-to-people uh, the -people contacts. Uh, and I'm hoping that I have uh, an opportunity at some point uh, during my presidency to visit uh, the Netherlands, because, yes. uh, because yeah. uh, <laughs> all reports are that it is, it is beautiful. And, uh, and the people are wonderful, and I look forward to uh, uh, enjoying some uh, Dutch hospitality sometime soon. So, Mr. Prime Minister. Yeah, well, thank you so much. It's, I'm glad to be here and to meet once again with you, Barack Obama. Uh, and I hope very much to welcome you to the Netherlands. That would be a great honor and a great opportunity. Uh, the relationship uh, between our countries is very strong. It goes back a long time. Um, and um, uh, I came to the United States uh, basically to discuss three issues. Jobs, jobs, and jobs. Those are good issues to discuss. These are the main issues eh, at, at the moment. And uh, that's first of all, of course, our excellent economic ties, bilateral economic ties. Um, 625,000 Americans are at work today because of our uh, direct investment in the U.S. and also our trade relationship. And the total investment of the U.S. in the Netherlands is more than the U.S. investment in Brazil, Russia, India, and China combined. Um, and I believe we can work very hard to have this job engine grow even more powerful. 
secondly, we'll discuss, no doubt, the eurozone. It's the intention of my government to keep the eurozone intact, to keep the euro intact, uh, to fight the debt crisis, and at the same time get growth and job growth going again in the European Union, which is vital uh, for, our own, uh, for our own young future. And thirdly, we will discuss, uh, I, I, no doubt, the upcoming NATO summit in your hometown, in uh, Chicago, be a wonderful next, uh, next year, and our uh, transatlantic alliance and international stability, and of course the situation in the Arab region where we pull on the same side, uh, where we are working on progress and democracy in the Arab region and in the Middle East. Good. Thank you very much, everybody.